look at the basic switch hit first. So Tommy goes one, two. So what he's going to do is he's going to simultaneously switch his feet so his lead foot kicks back to his rear foot and he punches with the left hand. And he wants to move his head to the side. Do it again. Because you just saved it. See how much further his head went behind me at that point? So if I was going to try and hit him with the right hand, it's just nowhere near his head. I'm not going to get it too good. So part of the switch is obviously you take your head offline, you change your lead, and then you can follow up. So basically, yeah. So the, the footwork with, with your feet is essentially your lead foot kicks back to your rear foot. Your rear foot goes forward, you lean your head out, you keep your other hand up, and you punch down the middle. So it's a way of powering up your jab, almost like a Superman jab, like GSP used to throw. One, two, switch. Good. Now, when you end up in that other lead, see how he's coiled? He's coiled for a hook cross or pull. Right, let's spin around to make him see it. So his body's already set for that particular combination. One, two, switch. Good. So he's got this nice, uh, he's in a side ball lead, but he's outside of my body and he's fighting me uh, with angles and techniques that feel very weird because he's on the side of me, punching in the opposite lead. It's quite overwhelming if you have it happen to you because you start off, he's an orthodox lead. He goes one, two. Maybe I'm firing back at this moment, so you're going to hit this pattern you switch. And then as I kind of open my eyes, he's now to the side lead, the opposite lead, and landing punches. It's like overwhelming. So that's a good time to throw the switch when the person throws the jab back. You're going to hit this guy. <laughs> my fault. I'm throwing the jab, he hits that switch right to the jaw. But that pad holding is quite awkward for people. So to help you people out, for the moment, just hold up the left back and then just switch it. Remember to move your head to the side. One, two, three. Very nice. Good uh, mechanics in the lead again. One, two, switch. And you see how I take the other pad out of the way? So he's only got one thing to hit, because if I put up two, you might hit the wrong one. And that's how you get injured. So that's the first one where he's switching and, and following up with a hook afterwards. Now we're going to switch and he's going to follow up with a lead uppercut instead. Because maybe my head is docked down when he's thrown the switch, I might have docked it like this. This hand is up, there's no hook, but the uppercut can go to the chin. So he goes one, two, does the same switch, freeze, uppercut cross up. Good. So opposite lead, it's going to feel a bit weird, but it's a lead uppercut. One, two, switch. Two weird for him, that's great. And again, one, two, switch. So, all start the same, one, two, to uh, make the person freeze or make them throw back. Then you hit the switch. Your switch is your lead hand, and you switch your feet as you punch, you end up with the opposite foot in front, and look at two variations. The second one is now the uppercut. So if you just want to, switch. <laughs> that was my fault. <laughs> uh, so that's the second type of switch. Third type of switch is he's going to go with the, the cross to the body. So instead of going up high when he does the switch, he's now going to do it to the body. So he goes one, two. He switches and I just let him hit the body. Now, I can put on a belly pad if I want to or put on some protection, but I, I trust Tommy. But if you want him to whack it, put a belly pad on. One, two. Go to the body. Put cross up. So we're going back to the first follow-up. One, two. Switch hit the body. Cross up. <laughs> as an in between. And again. Switch to the body. Put cross up. Okay. Fourth one. He's going to switch to the body and come with the uppercut. One, two. Switch to the body. Uppercut. Good. Nice and slow. So they can see it. One, two. He switches, and this is a good time that I can throw the jab because I don't have to worry about holding the other pad out. And this really uh, helps Tommy get his head offline when he does this because he can't have his head in the middle. You Maybe your beginners, when they switch, they might do this. But you see my head has stayed where it was, so it hasn't changed, but I'm doing the switch. Whereas you want this to happen, my head to move to the side. But at the same time, when he hits the body, I can jab him. He's going with the upcut. Okay, one more time. <laughs> that's it, dude. <laughs> so that's four variations of the, the switch punch, just following up with boxing. Um, you can switch and follow up with the hook, you can switch and follow up with the uppercut. You can switch and go to the body, then the hook, you can switch and go to the body, 
with the upcast.